If I don't get Kelly rolling because I say this about, then, 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 then it's going to be a problem. Then I'm putting out receipts. The receipts I just told y'all about, then I'll put those out. Child, it looks like the end of Beyonce and Jay-Z's marriage is closer than we thought because word on the street is they've been separated for a hot minute. And that Grammy speech that Jay gave about Beyonce not winning album of the year was just his way of trying to win her back. Not only that, but there have been a series of rumors of Jay-Z being involved in Diddy's shady businesses and abandoning his other children to rot in poverty. And as far as Beyonce, she's already trying to detach herself from him before the truth comes out because she doesn't want her career going down the drain right along with him when it does. She's already cutting ties with him. After the powers that be, the PTB, the industry, whatever you want to call them, once they're done with Diddy, right? And um, this is going to be going on for some time, but once... I guess you can say the public humiliation, basically after the major documentaries come out, right? After they are done with Diddy, Jay-Z is up next to be exposed, right? Okay, so in case y'all somehow missed out on all the tea that's been getting spilled over the last few days, Jay-Z has been trending for some weeks now after people started digging some major connections between him and Diddy. Apparently, Beyonce was never aware of his shading dealings with Diddy, and now she wants nothing to do with him. These rumors started a few months ago when Jason Lee boldly blackmailed Beyonce on camera on his show. He threatened to spill some major tea about her personal life unless she convinced Kelly Rowland to have a sit-down interview with him. And at the time, a lot of people didn't know what he was talking about. But now people believe it had something to do with Beyonce secretly separating from Jay. I'm going to tell them why Johnny puts a beep over this part of the show so you'll never know what it is. But I want you to see their reactions and I'm going to do it right now. Ooh. And that's where I go back to like, we're friends in the game. We support each other. We, 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 we help each other out. Can you imagine had I put that on Hollywood Law? Oh, there's one more thing. Beat this, Johnny. Woo. So that in itself, I think Beyonce could have gave me a, you know what I mean? Like there should be a little love there. Now. Maybe she doesn't know. She know Beyonce doesn't know. Yeah, I don't think Beyonce. Yvette and they're not going to share that Yvette with her. Knows. Her her receipts. Receipts. Her her Yvette knows. I got the receipts. I still have the receipts. Yvette know I got the receipts. I got them. Now if now if I get that message to Beyonce, yes, yeah, she I can needs get to it know. To be, oh 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 oh! I'm connected. I could get the message to Beyonce. She needs to know. And I think people like her publicist, who I love, and I'm just being critical. That's just what I do. You know that, Yvette, we're trying to book Kelly Rowland right now. Now, if I don't get Kelly Rowland because I say this about, then then, then, then it's going to be a problem. Then I'm putting out receipts. The receipts I just told y'all about, then I'll put those out. Mm. Ooh. The fires that will come over there. I ain't worried. I ain't going nowhere. I'm telling you not right now, I'm not playing this industry game. Now, if y'all remember, these were all allegations about Jay keeping Beyonce hooked on nose candy and other substances so he could manipulate and control her. This was revealed by Beyonce's ex-bodyguard, Uncle Ron, who claimed that he personally saw Jay feed Beyonce with those substances to keep her under control. Yeah, Beyonce's on She been on him for a long time. And you keep her that way. In fact, there was a viral video of Beyonce looking real zoned out at a basketball game. She could hardly keep her eyes open and she kept slowly swinging her head side to side just so she could try to stay awake. However, it's just one man saying all this. So we really don't know if he just trying to clout chase or if he actually saw it. And baby, as if that ain't bad enough, there's also rumors about Jay luring Beyonce into a relationship with him when she was just 18 and he was pushing 30. Now, mind you, Beyonce never really had much of a social life growing up. She was tied into her career right from when she was a teenager and only had one boyfriend when she was in high school. People believe that this is why Beyonce stayed with Jay after he cheated on her. He is the only man she's ever known since she was 18. Her entire career is centered around him and she's built a family with that man. She really doesn't know what it's like to be a woman on her own without him in the picture. Same. Like how? I feel like she never got to experience life 
with the different types of people and the fact that he was so old low-key i feel like the only way she expresses herself is through her music but see beyonce isn't the only one that jay-z got into a relationship with while she was barely an adult because there have also been rumors about him dating foxy brown when she was just 15 years old and he was already a grown man he allegedly promised her a very successful career in hollywood but he ditched her the moment he was done with her and paid a touch of money to shut up about it allegedly a romantical thing it's it's all right i'll say alleged but we know we know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah she hit it before beyonce <laughs> allegedly this was later confirmed by jay's longtime friend and ex-business partner dame dash during an interview with nick cannon at what age was foxy brown signed i wasn't paying attention to foxy brown but that's I didn't sign Foxy Brown. I know you didn't. I'm just that. asking the you question. I'm on the block. I'm responsible for everybody. <laughs> you the boss. That. Yo, be, don't beat around the bush. Say what you want. I'm to say. just. Asking. What do you mean by that question? I was just asking. What do you insinuate? I'm not insinuating. I just asked the question. I, mean, shoot, I, I, I thought Foxy was like 16. That's all I'm saying. <sighs> it sounds like you all I'm saying is like in this industry when we live in these glass like houses. Got, it seems like you got a question for Jay. Ask him. Y'all keep asking me questions. Y'all want to ask him because he ain't here. Ask him. I got do with that and i don't even know nothing about that <laughs> you, you playing you my man i know not with me <laughs> when you say that foxy was 16 when she got signed why did you say that just now when i first was introduced to to who foxy was uh -huh. i thought there was something between foxy and jay oh yeah jay but that's the question you're trying to ask me. Do y'all realize how similar this is to what Diddy did to Cassie? He started dating her when she was just 19 and promised her a career in Hollywood, only for him to put her through hell. Oh, and let's not forget how Jay was still actively associating himself with R. Kelly around the time that R. Kelly got exposed. He even made a joint album with him called Best of Both Worlds and performed with him multiple times, knowing good and well what Kelly was doing to those little girls. And baby, baby. Baby, according to what the streets saying, Beyonce and Jay Z have been separated for a little minute, but they're yet to publicize. It's kind of similar to what Jada Smith recently revealed about what she and Will have been going through, living separate lives since 2016. Maybe this is the tea that Jason Lee had on Beyonce, and now blogger Storm Monroe also hinted to something similar. What I've heard about them as a couple is that they've been living separate lives for a very long time. So they together, but they live in separate. And part of the reason why they have or they're already living separate lives, and we may actually see one of the biggest divorces in Hollywood, is because Jay Z is up next to be exposed. And Jay Z is exposed for his nefarious past. You're gonna see Beyonce divorce. In fact, there were rumors that Beyonce didn't want to attend the Grammys at all this year, but Jay convinced her it would be a great idea, so they don't raise any suspicions. This was also reportedly why she canceled her Tina Turner tribute altogether. She was only there to keep up an image. And if there really is any truth to these speculations, it explained why Beyonce looks so disconnected from the event the entire time she was there. Now, if y'all remember, Jay-Z also decided to put the Grammys on blast for snubbing Beyonce and not giving her the award for Album of the Year, even though she's more than qualified for it. A lot of people actually agreed with him and applauded him for speaking up for her. However, folks also couldn't help but notice how visibly uncomfortable and annoyed that Beyonce looked while he was doing this. Not only that, but instead of calling her by her name or even calling her his wife, he referred to her as this young lady, which was a major flag that something was very off with him. I don't want to embarrass this young lady, but she has more Grammys than everyone and never won album of the year. So even by your own metrics, that doesn't work. Think about that. The most Grammys, never won album of the year. That doesn't work. And what's even crazier is that just a few days before the Grammys, Jay-Z was exposed by rapper M.I.A., who was previously signed to Rock Nation and managed by Jay-Z. She accused Jay of receiving a huge sum of money from her billionaire baby daddy, Benjamin Bronfman. She claims that Benjamin gave Jay the money so Jay wouldn't interfere in a court battle that she and Benjamin were going through at the time that she lost custody of her son. She said, my first custody battle was 2013. My child was four. I was managed by Jay-Z 
who ultimately was paid by Bronfman's, the day I was served for my child, Rock Nation stopped all communications with me and all my emails to Jay-Z asking for help was wiped away from my inbox. My house was broken into and every laptop was taken. I was trapped in Brooklyn on order, served that restricted me, leaving Brooklyn for 15 years. Jaguar Wright also revealed a few months ago that Jay-Z is the actual kingpin of the industry and that he's a lot worse than Diddy. According to Jaguar, the only reason that Jay ain't been caught yet is because he's a lot smarter than Diddy and he does things a little more carefully. Sean Carter is worse. Uh oh. Oh man. He's smarter. He's patient. He's not sloppy. Mm -hmm. This he been lining up people he calls friends and stepping to the side while they get hit by the guillotine for 30 years. He's worse. Jaguar also said she believes the lawsuit and the allegations that have been slapped against Diddy have the potential of exposing Jay-Z for who he really is. So I think the KPD trial has the potential to force Sean Combs to finally be honest about some things that he hasn't been honest about, which could create great leverage for knocking that big lip camel face back into the oblivion in the depths of hell where he came from. So as y'all can see, folks have been getting really brave recently and things are coming to an end for Jay-Z. A lot of people are also reported to be gearing up to expose all the things that Jay-Z has done to him and Beyonce does not plan to stick around for that. As if that wasn't bad enough, Jay came under heat a few years ago when his alleged estranged daughter, Letitia Macer, claimed that he had abandoned her and her mom for over 30 years. She created an account on every social media platform and exposed him for ditching them. She posted a video of herself talking about how Jay has been actively avoiding them for decades because he didn't want to get exposed. She also went into details about a neurological disorder that their mom has been suffering for years. Letitia also put several side-by-side -side photos in the video and you can see a striking resemblance between her and Jay. Okay. Oh, but if y'all think this is messy, then wait till you find out she she ain't his only alleged secret child because he allegedly has another son named Ramir who also claimed that Jay abandoned his mother when she got pregnant. His mother Wanda passed away a few years ago after relentlessly trying to get in touch with Jay-Z. And allegedly, Jay is very much aware of Ramir's existence and has continued to refuse to do a DNA test with him. He's even tried to drag Jay-Z to court a few times in the hopes that he'll finally agree to do the DNA a test. But Jay every single time uses his connections to get the case thrown out over and over again. Now it's unclear when Beyonce plans to make it known that she and Jay-Z are going to get a divorce, but folks speculate she's just waiting for everything about Jay's connection with Diddy to come to light so she can issue a statement about how they've been separated for months. She don't want this to soil her image, so she gonna be real strategic about how she goes about this. Now as usual, folks had a whole lot to say about this, and they did not hold back from Dragon Jay-Z. Like this person who said, it felt as if Jay-Z was giving his farewell speech and ranting before throwing them deuces. No matter your status, you can't run from the skeletons that are in your closet. It was very different seeing his daughter Blue Ivy on the stage accompanying Jay-Z and she's dressed for the Grammys versus this young lady, in his words, B, who's sitting in the audience dressed like she's going to a rodeo. Another person said, Beyonce knew what she was getting into when she met Jay-Z because she was underage too. Her parents sold her to him and she was doing freak offs with him and he had her doing stuff with his other girlfriends. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Beyonce allegedly separating from Jay? And do y'all really think Jay-Z is next up after the industry's done with Diddy? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.